Hello YouTube, Dave here again. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an opening and sort of a review of the Starfinder Game Master screen. So for anybody who hasn't uh, checked out or followed my Facebook page yet, uh, I posted on there that I was able to pick up a few different items uh, from a local game store. They had to buy to get one free sale. Uh, so this is actually the free item and uh, I've got two other things that I'll be doing over the course of the next couple of days and if you want a preview as to what those are uh, then I recommend checking out uh, the Facebook page because that has a picture of the items on it. But today we're going to be looking at the Game Master screen for Starfinder and uh, <clears throat> like I said I've been kind of getting more and more interested in Starfinder since I uh, first kind of made the decision to pick up the core rulebook. So at this point I have the core rulebook, the Alien Archive, <coughs> the Alien Archive pawn set, and now I have this to add to the collection if I actually want to run a game. So we got just the uh, the screen here, some artwork on it. It says like a paper sleeve over it, which is pretty normal for these types of things. Uh, now this retailed for, if it shows up here, 19.99 US dollars. Uh, now in Canada it ended up being around 25, I think it was. Uh, but this was actually the free item that I got, so I didn't have to pay anything for this. And just up here, well, let's raise that up a little bit. It says, the perfect firewall. Uh, protect your important notes and die rolls from players' prying eyes with the Starfinder GM screen. This beautiful four-panel screen features stunning artwork uh, from Ignacio Bazan Lascano uh, on the player side and a huge number of tools and tables on the GM side to speed up play and keep key figures at your fingertips. With helpful rules and reminders about tactical and starship combat, skill difficulty classes, common conditions, environment, radiation, zero gravity, and more, this GM screen gives you the information you need to keep the game fast and fun. Constructed for ultra high or constructed of ultra high grade hardcover book stock, this durable screen is perfect for convention play or use in your uh, regular home game. So, uh, I suspect the artwork is probably the same that's on uh, the front and back here, but let's uh, open this up and have a look and see what we got. Oh, there we go. Stubborn. Alright. There we go. Let's just move that off to the side. And is there anything? Nope, there's, there's nothing in... Oh wait. Uh, so there's a little bit of information on the inside of the paper sleeve here. Uh, all about the open game license. <coughs> so Starfinder does use a modified version of the Dungeons & Dragons uh, 3.5 or 3rd edition uh, OGL, open gaming license, and the standard reference document, which is the SRD, and just gives a little bit of information there. I always kind of like them when they have artwork on the inside, but that's, that's okay, because this is only ever going to go on the outside anyway. But here we have our screen, and uh, it's actually uh, kind of a tall screen, so let me just... So instead of being landscape like the D&D screens, this one's actually um, kind of stands up quite tall, actually. This is this is, reminds me of the old old school uh, Dungeon Master screens from D&D. Uh, so just have a look at the art here. Let's pick the camera up. So on the outside, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's the same stuff that's on... Yeah, it's the same artwork that's on the, the cover there, but you get a better look at it. The Starfinder logo. Alright, so that's that, but what I really want to have a look at is the charts and all the information that's on the screen itself. So let's have a look here. Alright, now one thing, the way that it folds, the center part wants to kind of go inwards, but I'm sure there's ways to kind of get that all taken care of. But let's just have a look at what the screen contents are. So we got skill check guidelines. Uh, recall knowledge, identify magic item or technology, so it's just got a bunch of, looks like a lot of the skills here, uh, acrobatics, uh, engineering, we got there, and then we've got identify creature, so it tells you what uh, kind of skill it is, and what the DCs are for very common average or rare creatures, with examples I guess in the brackets there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, repair, magic item, or technology. 
diplomacy and gather information. So over here we got radiation. <coughs> uh, so it just says it's a poison type emanation, save fortitude, uh, track constitution frequency once per round. At the at each state of impaired and beyond, the victim must succeed a DC 18 fortitude saving throw or contract the radiation sickness disease, which goes down here. And uh, effect radiation sickness uh, isn't contagious. Cure three consecutive saves. Okay, it doesn't say quite what it does, it doesn't look like, but I'm sure that's okay. You can find that in the uh, type disease, track physical, frequency once per day. Okay. Then we got material hardness and hit points, DC to break objects, damage from falling objects. Uh, statistics for walls, so their thickness, uh, hardness, hit points, all that. Statistics for doors, wind effects, and zero gravity. So this tells you all the rules you need uh, for fighting in zero gravity. <coughs> uh, actions in combat, so standard, move, swift, full action, reaction, and others. Cover, concealment, long-term stability, uh, long-term stability while unconscious okay because there is a chance that you can actually <coughs> end up dying if uh, you're not healed after becoming stabilized so common combat actions so you charge cover covering fire faint fight defensively full attack which gives you two attacks at a negative four penalty instead of having extra attacks for base attack so that kind of streamlines the game a little bit uh, total defense combat maneuver and then just all of our conditions here, I'm not going to go through and read them all, but you can see the list. And then Starship Combat, uh, which is pretty cool, so it gives you the uh, actions you can take during the combat rounds. So you got Engineering, Helm, and Gunnery. Uh, speed and Maneuverability. Uh, we got Maneuverability down here. Critical Damage. and patching critical damage as well as the glitching, malfunctioning, and wreck statuses and our firing and shield arcs and there you have it, so that is the Starfinder uh, Game Master screen whoop. and whoop, let's see if I can get it to... there we go, that seems like the wrong way though that is definitely the wrong way There we go. Okay, so that is the whoop, that is the Starfinder Game Master screen, and I have to say I, I like it quite a bit. I think there's a lot of decently useful information on the screen, and uh, yeah, I'm also very surprised by the fact that it's the, the the tall vertical screen since most screens nowadays use the landscape, which would be more like this size, kind of as if it was standing on its side. This one actually kind of goes back to the old school tall uh, D, uh, Game Master screens or DM screens. So anyway, that's just my video on that. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I really like this screen, like I said, it, I think it's really cool. The artwork on it's really nice, and uh, yeah, I'm, like I said, so I'm looking more and more forward as I open these products to, uh, to actually getting the opportunity to run a Starfinder game. So let me know in the comments below what you think of the screen. Do you think that there's uh, any useful information that probably could have been put on there, what may be not necessary uh, to everything else? And uh, just let me know what your thoughts are overall on this screen and about the Starfinder game in general. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, again, if you want to see sort of a sneak preview of the other two items that I'll be opening over the next couple of days, uh, just check out my Facebook page. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.